getting lunch with B. Show them my crutches. I know, I was like, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Show them your ankle. Oh, sprained oh. it. Yeah. We just went to take this one <laughs> to urgent care to make sure she didn't break anything. And now we're having lunch. It's so good. We're in Amy's new convertible. <laughs> Long story short, Amy, yeah, a car accident. This is a rental. But this is like the car of Amy's dream. Yes. Mine too, so I'm enjoying this. What and she said it's okay. Yeah, convertible. Yeah. Not this specific car. This is so weird. Look. Let's do fun things. We're going to go to the McDonald's drive through <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to do earlier. So we're just going to get gas. right now while she's in Japan. I'm using her space. Thank you, Amy. I'm here with Dre. Hey. I'm gonna do Dre's makeup. We're gonna do the black pink Jenny look, so we'll see how it turns out. How do you feel? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm always interested. Woohoo. Thank you for accepting my collab. <laughs> no, I'm excited. <laughs> so this is the aftermath. This is how the look turned out. Hey. Thoughts? What's popping? <laughs> my eyes are popping. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, you did shape my eyebrows a bit. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. A little bit. You plug that part off. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to do that. I mean, I like this brow. This brow? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, just, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's more sharper. It's way sharper and way more defined. This one <laughs> could have done a little better. It's living. It's living. <laughs> Amy is back from Paris. Paris? <laughs> Amy's back from Japan. We're gonna have dinner together right now at Boiling Point. There she is. So Amy and I are walking down Silver Lake right now. <laughs> it's a really nice day out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super warm. So we're just having a chill day. Amy just got back from Japan. I tried to vlog you the other day, but then we, I just ended up eating. We are... Sandy's getting, I'm getting tattoos. Tattoo. Two baby ones. Yeah, just two small ones. It's kind of spontaneously, but yeah. also spontaneously been talking about it for the past like two months. Actually, yeah, I've been talking about getting a ta like more tattoos for a while. Yeah, let's do it. yeah ever since you were talked about getting yours, mm -hmm. I thought about mine more, like I what I would want. Yeah, massive. I love mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Not gonna happen. I know. <laughs> So we just got some coffees down the street and we're gonna go to the tattoo parlor now and we actually ended up in the neighborhood with the tattoo this is the tattoo parlor where I got my first tattoo when I was out in LA like did you go alone? yeah it was really cool part of me is like I wonder if it's the same artist but I don't think so but who knows I don't remember, I don't remember his name that's kind of cool it's meaningful before I move into a new apartment yes Woo! 
here we are. I remember the first time I came here, I had no idea where to park. If it was okay to park, I was freaking out and I was sitting here by myself. It was an experience. Now, I have Amy. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually finished at the tattoo parlor i can show you guys close-ups later amy ended up getting a tattoo too but hers is bandage we're at a piercing parlor now because amy's gonna get piercing what a fun day <laughs> also there's a dog here a puppy who's so adorable his name is also cody cody oh are you cutie Just pause. You're gonna be a big dog. Yeah. Body mutilation. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder we're so annoying. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's coming. You want it? So cute. Dude, he's so friendly. He's like homie. Oh my god, he's sitting me. Are you excited? No, you're not. <laughs> Do you want to hold my hand? No. <laughs> There's no shame in that. Jeez. Ew. There's something in my ear. <laughs> oh my god, stop being so dramatic. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Which one was that? The top one. The cartilage? That one definitely hurt more, but it just feels gross. Ooh, that's a weird feeling. Damn, I should have vlogged the last one. That would have been amazing. You guys should have seen her reaction. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Yuck. It's in there. I should do Sandy Cam. <laughs> uh, the top one felt the weirdest. Really? This one doesn't feel that weird. Amy got me a gift from Japan that I'm gonna open right now. She just screamed in the Tokyo MoMA store. She said it's also from my apartment. Are there cups? They're cups? Are they cups? Oh my god! <laughs> this is my color! Oh my god, how cute! Your first cups for your house! Oh my gosh, you're so pretty! Oh, thank you! She's peeing right now. Oh my god! Hello. So I'm popping in from the future. Um, uh, no, so I'm in the middle of editing the April vlog and I realized kind of how all over the place it is a bit, at least in my opinion, because I realized I didn't really talk to the camera as much up until this point and I didn't really share a lot of what was going on. It was just a lot of going and doing. I never talked about why I got the tattoos that I got. So the first one I got is this Roman numeral number nine and 11. This way is 11 and this way is nine for me. Yeah, and I got this because the number nine is really significant for me because it's like there's so many nines in my birthday and I've just always loved the number. And then 11, if you guys are into numerology, is my life path number. Like it's also a number that has a lot of meaning and symbolism for me. And if you guys, like I read a little bit about numerology, I don't know that much, but when I was reading what that meant for me, it really resonated. So I just really like both of those numbers so i thought it was so perfect that the roman numeral nine upside down is an 11 so it kind of has this double meaning and i love things that have a lot of meaning and symbolism behind them and then the second one was this lightning bolt um just for the 
fun of it, I guess. Like I've always loved lightning and thunderstorms. I think lightning is so beautiful and majestic and I love nature. I love when nature is just at work and I love that it's this frightening but beautiful piece of nature, I guess. So I just really like lightning bolts. I think they're really cool. Like that is the energy that I want to embody. Like very strong and powerful, but also really like beautiful and elegant at the same time. Obviously, I am not portraying any of those elements right now, um, but I just love lightning bolts. So I was like, let's just get something fun. I don't know why I thought of putting it here. These two placements are probably the least thought about placements ever like everywhere else i like really thought about it but these two i was just like whatever just put it here it doesn't matter and um i just thought having it by the collarbone would be really cute in april you guys probably already know i moved into my own apartment here i am and i actually didn't talk about the apartment hunting process um, which started actually in late march and continued into early april i went to look at like a few places and i've been looking for a place since november i want to say but nothing just really seemed right um, there was nothing that really stuck out to me of all the places that I looked at and financially like it just wasn't I wasn't in the right place and so um, When I felt like I was finally in the right place everything just happened so quickly and I Didn't want to vlog the apartment hunting process because I was just so stressed out about it already like I just wasn't sure what was gonna come of it if I was even gonna get a place so I didn't want to vlog about it in case I failed and didn't get a place but now i wish i did vlog um so that i could have showed you guys that whole process but i think i was just too stressed out but now we're moving on to the second half of the vlog where i'm actually moving in to my apartment and so i thought it i should probably include a talking bit so you guys kind of know what's going on even though you, you probably already know that i'm in a new apartment anyway um let's go back to the vlog these are all of the boxes i definitely had way more stuff than i thought i had to go back to home depot twice just to get more boxes but look wow amy taught me this packing hack you pretty much cut a hole at the bottom of a trash bag in the middle and loop it over and then zip tie the hangers to keep it all together and you can also tie the bottom so that it stays put I also emptied out all of these drawers. That's actually probably why I have way more boxes than I thought because I had to put all of my makeup and skincare stuff in here. Then I get to put it all back again. It's moving day. I am so freaking tired. I finished packing at about 3 or 3.30ish, so kind of late, but I could not sleep for the life of me. Maybe I had too much caffeine. Maybe I was too excited, but I pretty much only got like two to three hours of sleep and it wasn't even like good sleep. So I'm just so tired, but I'm hoping my excitement will keep me going until the end of the day. Um, right now I'm about to go sign the lease and get my key. And then it's just gonna be lots of moving. I'm meeting the movers in Arcadia. I'm picking up a refrigerator. Then we're gonna come back here to get my stuff. And um, then we're gonna go to Sydney's to get a dresser and a nightstand from her and then we'll be done. Then Amy's coming over, we're gonna go to Ikea and just do really fun things. So long day ahead. I'm definitely gonna get some coffee uh, at some point. I've already signed the lease. I've met with the movers and um, got the refrigerator, got my Starbucks. I also got myself a sandwich, some water right here. I haven't even had time to eat yet because the movers came so much sooner than I had expected. Like I thought I had at least another half an hour to an hour, but they came earlier, which is totally fine and preferred. So um, now I'm just meeting them back at my old place um, to pick up all of my boxes and whatever furniture. Amy and I are at Ikea now. She helped me film an apartment tour. And now we're here. We got some matcha earlier and now I feel kind of queasy actually. Yeah, Amy too. So I can't wait to eat some Ikea food. I got the veggie meatball. Amy also got the veggie meatball and chicken tenders and fries. I feel better. <laughs> well, you've already had four? Yeah. You already had four meatballs? Good morning from my new home. Uh, 
I'm feeling so allergic today and I don't know if it's because there's so much dust on the floor um, or if like spring allergies are kind of coming because uh, I just feel super stuffy. My nose is so itchy. My eyes are super itchy and I just took a Claritin maybe like five minutes ago so I'm hoping it'll kick in soon. <sighs> <laughs> I usually get really bad spring allergies, especially when I'm back home in the Bay Area. But the last couple years since I've been in LA, like they haven't been acting up. I think because it's so polluted and there's not as much greenery out here. But now they're just going crazy. I don't know if I want it to be more spring allergies or dust because if it's the dust, then like maybe I can fully get rid of it. If it's not in the air and it's just the dust on the ground. But if it's if I can't get rid of it, then yeah, I would rather it be spring allergies than I can just take Claritin and make them go away. Today, I need to go to Target and get some stuff like sponges, Swiffer, um, toilet paper. I've just been using tissues and stuff. And then I need to stop by the old place to pick up some packages. Um, and then I'm getting my Wi-Fi set up at around five i don't have a bed yet i'm getting one soon so last night i just slept on the floor i laid some blankets down and then um just slept there and it was actually really comfortable i know ivan sleeps on the floor all the time and it's really good for your back and your spine so um, i actually don't mind it like i don't mind sleeping on this for another few days or so a few days oh my gosh i'm so itchy <laughs> I still have a lot of unpacking to do, but I feel like I got a lot of progress done, especially because Amy was really helping me yesterday. She was like super efficient, like bam, bam, bam. Whereas I was like taking my time, like moseying along. And I was like, if you weren't here, I would probably take way longer to do this. This is where I slept yesterday. Cody's sleeping there. This is all trash that needs to go. This needs to be unpacked. And this also, so almost done. And this just needs to go in storage. I just did a Target run and I totally forgot to vlog while I was in there because I'm kind of in a rush. This is what my car looks like right now. I just had to get a lot of cleaning supplies um, that I didn't have. Like I can't wait to Swiffer because the floors are so dusty and dirty. And I think that's what what's causing my allergies. Got some beer just because and some snacks. And these are actually the clothes that I still have to give to my mom and my sister. I also wanted to go to Daiso and the grocery store but I don't have time to go before the internet gets set up so I might just go after I just got my Wi-Fi set up I don't have any pots and pans yet because um, supposedly my mom has a lot and she's gonna bring them down to me my parents are gonna come this weekend just to see the place and they're also bringing down some furniture for me so thank you mom and dad I have a couch that looks exactly like my gray armchair thing so it's gonna match really well here's Daisu Hello, I actually just got back from Daiso. I thought I would do a little haul for you guys since I didn't vlog the trip. Uh, it said no camera, so I just didn't take out my camera after. First, I got some chopsticks, these silver ones, um, and these really long ones that are wooden uh, for cooking. I got some ice trays. So my um, fridge that I got actually has an ice maker, but there is no way for the it to be connected to a water source. So until then, um, I don't even know if they can do that. I don't even know if I wanna go through the hassle, we'll see. But yeah, until then, I bought ice tray cabinet liners because I want to line the shelves that are gonna have all of the sauces and stuff so that the cabinet doesn't get dirty. Then I got some sauce plates, just some random things. I already have um, plates and bowls and stuff. I got I got those at Ikea, but I don't have sauce plates, so I got some. I don't even have forks or knives or spoons yet. I ordered them on Amazon, so they should be here tomorrow. Then I got some sink, sink strainers. Is this even interesting? Then I just got this giant silver bowl thing for like washing veggies. When I was growing up, my mom always taught me to wash veggies in like a pail like this and then strain it out, so I got these also. And then I got this divider paper holder thing. <gasps> organizer, eight pocket organizer. Um, just so I could put some of my documents, loose documents in here, things for insurance or Cody or for car stuff, moving things, I don't know. So I got this to hold all of my 
those papers. Oh, I got this too. Soap dispenser thing so I could put dishwashing soap in here. That's it. That's all I got. This is so weird seeing myself in this place in the vlogs. Totally, completely different. And today I actually um, started missing my old room, my one room. I miss the sense of familiarity with that space. Like when I'd wake up, I know where I am. I know pretty much how my day's gonna go. And now it's like a new space, waking up in a new place and just trying to like figure out a new routine. And I'm sure I'll get over the missing familiarity part because I'll have a new familiar here and I can't wait for that time to come. My dad's napping, my mom's making porridge in here and I got impatient so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm switching the fridge door so that it opens the other way because this is annoying. This is the progress so far. Dad coming in for the hard part. <laughs> so that's about it for my April vlog. It went by really fast. It was crazy busy, but amazing. Like it was an amazing month. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.